hello everyone welcome back to the channel and today we are going to take a look how to make a depth map inside nuke so as you know in my previous video i covered how to add, add a depth haze in your footage using a depth map and these three uh, techniques so now let's see how you can make a depth map inside nuke so as you can see i have a depth map here so if i expose down you will see so this is the depth map i have so let's see how i make this one so for that you need your plate and you need a camera which is track so this is the track camera i have so i track this one inside nuke and this is the camera i have so you need a match move camera and then you can use a node called depth generator so this is the node you can use this will allow you to uh, make a depth map and then you can use it in your com so as you can see uh, it's a very simple node just connect your source to source and connect your camera to the camera let me correct the pipe now as you can see now we are successfully generated the depth map so as you can see the red green blue and the alpha and we also have this purple color which is indicating the depth channel and as you can see it's also indicating the multi-layer channel as you can see it's calculating the depth now as you can see you can see this is the depth map we are getting from trade from this depth generator and as you can see it's not looking pretty good at all so some key key step you need to remember when you are making a depth map using this depth generator so the first thing you have to look at the depth output so now currently if i calculate the depth from the closest point as you can see the red channel is showing 0.6 and if i go further the value is reducing so that means uh, this is this is the default uh, new give you the depth map so this is the same depth value you, you will also get from scanland render so but for for more realistic way uh, the, the value should increase while we are going further so for that we can change the depth output to distance now you will see the depth value increasing as we go far away from the camera so as you can see now if i sample this closest point as you can see 1.7 and if i go further as you can see it's 16 and 20 and all that now but as you can see it's still looking crappy so if i reduce value as you can see it's not looking good so the next setting you have to consider is the frame separation so what is this actually doing is it's basically calculating the depth map in every frame so because if you check my plate if i show you the plate so this plate if i move 10, 10 frame as you can see the camera motion is not is not fast i mean it's very slow it's very slow camera motion if i play as you can see it's not it's very slow camera motion so for that if i calculate uh, depth in every frame so it will basically calculating a uh, new depth in every frame so that's why you are uh, seeing this lot of artifacts to avoid that you need to increase this frame separation here as you can see we have this analyze sequence and the analyze frame option it will basically look at your plate and see the camera motion and it will estimate how much frame separation you need here because i already did, already did that so i know the frame separation i need is 61 so what does that mean uh, on first frame and the frame 61 it will calculate the depth uh, two times and then in between it will uh, basically interpolate so you will get a very smooth depth map so if i reduce this one now so as you can see we are getting very smooth depth map so i think we're still getting this uh, noisy stuff this will uh, flicker but if you increase the, your frame separation this will reduce a lot compared to the one show you so as you can see the one is very bad as you can see here also we, we we can't see anything so this is not usable at all 61 is what i get other setting you can touch but i basically leave it by default if you need more detail you can basically increase this depth detail to one and it will basically add more detail uh, in your depth according to your plate and your camera make sure you have a perfect match move camera as accurate as possible so as you can see the 0.5 and the one it will not give you much result it will basically increase the edges and all that stuff here and there as you can see this these parts and for the sky you can basically cut out with the uh, gear and all that stuff so you don't have to worry about the sky stuff because we are only focusing on the mountain and all that the foreground stuff we basically need a depth map so these are the main setting i touch so as you can see i already calculate this one so this so this is a depth generator you are seeing in this uh, haze tutorial in that i pre-comp here so if i just replace this one here 
and now you will see tap map what i have and as you can see i and as you can see here is little animation so what is basically showing as you can see it's basically give a key where it will tell me the frame 61 is a good number for this footage so i basically did an analyze sequence and as you can see it's also showing me the calculate accuracy i mean how i accurate this depth map is based on my camera okay so as you can see 0.4 is very good number so this is how you can uh, generate your depth map and so this is basically it you can generate your depth map like that and if you want to exclude certain object you can use the mask option here so this is uh, just a uh, introduction to depth map so if you have a okay, matchbook camera you can basically generate a depth map and you can add add a haze and volumetrics and other stuff like this so this node is pretty cool you can see we have a lot of options here and you can also basically generate normal pass and position pass also as you can see we have option here and if i just we have we have to make a new channel and we just have to assign a new channel name then it will calculate the depth depth channel position and normal one more thing we have here we, we can create a card and it, this card will basically uh, show us the how the geometries look like and uh, how the map is behaving because it will use the depth map to displace the card so you can create that one also here to just uh, to just see the depth map how is basically displacing the geo according to the uh, depth map so you can increase here setting and all that smoothing and all you then make sure to analyze your sequence and you can use uh, uh, depth uh, and the distance so and you can create a multiple channels here so that is pretty much it so this is simple introduction about this depth map about this depth generator if you have any questions please let me know in the comment and let me know the future tutorial what do you what do you really want to see in nuke and i will try to make that tutorial for you so thank you for watching and we will see you in a way next one